Hello, hello, we are here again. Welcome to the first of the year, and <laughs> also the first of January. We said that we were gonna do writerly tarot card readings the first of the month, see how our month might go writing-wise according to the deck. Once again, we're using my Dragon Age deck. It's the one I'm most familiar with, although I'm still learning. I'm still learning tarot and my own personal style of reading it, so if that interests you, welcome. And this reading is going to be geared specifically towards writing and writerly things and our writing careers and anything and everything writerly here with this reading. How did we do with December? Did the cards do a good job of like leading you into your December or were they dead wrong and nothing that they hinted at actually happened because that's fine too. Nowhere in the rules of my channel are we gonna sit here and say I'm always right as is this stack of papers. Alrighty, let's get reading, let's get going for our January just gonna do three cards. Someday I might do more in-depth readings, but three cards today. Let's see what our first card is. The Ten of Cups. So because this is our first draw, this is pertaining a little bit more to the previous month, and it's looking pretty happy. So I hope that this card is correct about how your writing life went in December. I think it's fairly true for mine. Nothing really changed about my writing life in December. It was pretty much business as usual, but the lack of change also means that I wasn't like failing at writing in December. This card is about harmony, about alignment, about happiness. Everything's coming up us. And I think it's setting a really good foundation for the beginning of our month, but let's see what the other two cards say. Next card. The Five of Cups. Cups is really good for creativity. It is the magical, imaginative, creative, artistic suit. This card is really interesting to come after such a happy and um, uplifting previous card. This card, potentially looking at our January, which can be a little bit bleak and a little bit stressful because I know I am stressed out by January here in Wisconsin. It's just nothing but endless cold and endless snow. And so this card is about disappointment, about plans not going as we had hoped. And yeah, that can happen in writing if you were maybe really hoping to publish or you were really hoping to finish or there was something that you were really striving for and you were hoping to accomplish in January. Maybe it might not be happening or maybe in December you didn't get as much accomplished as you wanted to because this card can also mean holding on to disappointments of the past. So this card is here to remind us that when disappointments happen, it might be fun to have a little wallow, but you can't wallow for too long. Writing is not always sunshine and roses. Be prepared and fortified against the January slump that I think many of us feel, myself included. And finally, let's see what our last card is for January. Hopefully it gets a little bit brighter, but you never know. The Four of Swords, we're back to swords. Everybody knows that all of my decks love swords, but it is reversed. None of these are major arcana, which actually I feel is kind of fitting with January. January can sometimes feel like such a nothing month. So this card does fit pretty well with the previous one. This can mean exhaustion, this can mean burnout, and especially coming out of the holidays. And again, January can be such a tough and endless seeming month. So this card is us feeling like we're just in a holding pattern, like we're not gaining any ground. But it's also a very important message, and I think this is true, especially if you're experiencing winter in your part of the world. This card is about finding that time to step back and to hibernate a little bit and to relax and to take care of yourself. Everything in the world is like driving us forward so aggressively. We gotta hustle, we gotta keep moving, we cannot stop. And winter and the long cold months of winter especially are a really important time to relax, to hibernate. I firmly believe that human beings, like many animals, are not meant to drive ourselves hard in the winter at all. We are supposed to bunker down, we are supposed to stay warm and cozy and eat lots of good food and hang out with family. And this card is reminding us that if we keep driving ourselves, we are gonna end up really disappointed and really saddened. This month, January, remember to slow down and do what gives you joy and 
if you need a little break from writing, that's okay. I'm sure you've had a couple of very busy months with writing, especially if you did NaNoWriMo. So remember to take breaks, do what gives you joy, write a fan fiction, write a smutty little fan fiction just that makes your heart happy. So that's what the cards have to say. It's not as happy and bright and hopeful as I was hoping for, but you know, the card's gonna say what the card's gonna say. So take your time, take care of yourself and your writing life in January. It's really rough out there and being a writer is not one of the easiest things to try to do, so yeah. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see December's reading, you can check that out. You can also check out for the month of November. I did a whole month of shorts where I drew a tarot card every day, so if you're interested to see how that went in November, I have a playlist for that, so all of the things will be linked. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget that I have a Patreon where you can support me and get videos not seen here on the regular channel, mostly life updates and writing updates, so if you wish that you knew more in depth what my life was like, what my writing was like, Patreon. That's where that's happening. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, patrons. Patrons like Jessica, Caitlin, Ursula, KJ, Lafone, Amanda, Unicorn Jenny, Celia, Neon, Taya, Alyssa, Rita, Deborah, Afra, Melissa, Swamp Goblin Waifu, Sophia, Merween, Kit, Hidden Glade, Light Julie, Belle, Patrick, Anne Sophie, Callison, Ray, Shelby, Zaire, Jesper, Rennie, Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, and Sarah.